Good afternoon and welcome back to WKTX. My name is Christopher Boggs and I'm sitting here with Mr. Tyler Ridley, a junior biology major minoring in behavior analysis and we will be discussing the 125th anniversary. Now Mr. Ridley, can you tell me how do you think the 125th anniversary will bring more light into the community and the campus? I think it just shows that we are more, more established through each year. You know, being at HBCU, they expect us to shut down every year, bankrupt some kind of trouble. But, you know, we've shown through 125 years we can go on to our next year and grow and grow as a, not only HBCU, but as a university. Okay, and as a collegiate individual, how do you think you can contribute to the anniversary? With uh, enthusiasm and um, just participate in every single event, uplift it, um, and show the community why I love Savannah State University and why they should come to their school too. I mean, they live here. Okay. And do you think that the community is is embracing this anniversary and is 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 ready for its arrival? Yes, I think they've been long awaiting Savannah State and the community to just you know pop out of its shell and have a great time. Okay. And how do you think the other students around you feel about not only the anniversary, but what it can do for the community and the institution as well? I think they're ready for it because for some reason, for such a long time, there has been a little bit of tension between the community and Savannah State, mainly because when college students come, they may take a lot of jobs. And um, I just think that they actually get to know us. And not only they get to know us, but us actually getting to know them. I think some of that tension will ease. We'll understand them better and they'll understand us better. Okay. And what programs do you think SGA or any other organizations can implement to get the word out that, hey, the anniversary is coming, we're here, and our HBCU is here to stay? Grab every radio station, uh, as many flyers as possible. Try to contact the mayor, uh, contact the news station, you know, let everybody know about it. Your name, let's let, get in contact with them and let them know we here. Okay. And you're part of or you associate yourself with African American Male Initiative. Now, are you guys preparing to help with the uh, gala as well and to help with the anniversary? We haven't had nothing yet. However, we have actually just started talking about it, you know. So I feel like we should get these young men out there as well while we are also, you know, letting out the fact that it's 125 years of, you know, Sebastian University. It's also been 125 years of a great man coming out of Savannah State. Not just one, not just two, but there are thousands coming out. And I finally feel like Savannah State needs to show where we rank I mean, having the top, not only black men, but just men in general at Savannah State University and in the world. Okay. And how do you feel um, about the, the HBCU, Savannah State University, moving forward as a whole from this anniversary? I just feel like it's really going to show us, show not not only show us, but show the world what we rank on top of the food chain. Of course, everybody knows about everything that's been going on, but that is not us. That is that is that was just a little mix up, you know. And we're ready to show that we are, you know, like I said earlier, we are a dominant university you know just because we're hbcu does not mean we can't compete with some of the top pwis out there or any other thing you have out there we really rank high i mean and i just think that this can just showcase not only the not only the past you know but also showcase the present and show how much you know we have grown how much we're ready to grow and just show like i said again what we rank on the food chain okay and if you can leave the viewers and listeners with one other word or any any words of inspiration about your tenure here and at Savannah State University, what will it be about your your uh, institution of higher learning? When I came to Savannah State, I was a boy. I would say I was a boy. I, can't, I won't say that I'm a man, but I'm on the right track to being a man. Keep it brief. I went through a lot, but, you know, something about Savannah State, I always felt like a family. I've never went through anything on my own, you know, but it's not been the fact that I've been babysat either. 
being here at Savannah State, you know, like, like any college, you're going to make your mistakes because you're young. However, Savannah State allows you to grow from them. It is a great community, great staff. Um, everyone has their ups and downs, but you have some great people here. Professors are extremely, extremely good at what they do. Access your professor and actually get to talk to them, and they'll actually help you out. They really care. You're not just a number here. So not only to, you know, whoever listening to this, I would say, you know, come to Savannah State. They are, we are here. They are here to help you. You know, they're not going to hold your hand, but as long as you show that you want to get it and you want not only want to learn it to get an A, but you want to master it to take you on to bigger and better things, they're always here for you. And, um, yeah, I love it here. I wouldn't change it for the world. Great. Thank you, Mr. Ridley, for your time. This has been another segment of WKTX.